I'm currently walking the streets of Medellin. As you can see, I'm going to the cinema. There's a movie theater, as you can see, at Oviedo Mall. That is where I see my girl. I live about 30 minutes, uh, or yeah, around that, from uh, Poblado to here. It's 30 minutes walk. I usually walk, as I said in my previous vlog. I don't want to spend money on Uber when I can walk the 30 minutes walk. Uh, especially uh, when I have extra time. Some people value their time, but for me, it's an exercise as well. So this is why I'm such a cheap ghetto guy. I'm not ghetto, I'm not ghetto, but so ghetto, so ghetto. So I made it early to the mall where I watched the video that side. Uh, I came to this coffee shop, got a cake, one of those cakes, and they brought me this thing for free, which is awesome. So yeah. Let's get it started. Guys, I got my stuff. Look at this beauty. Oh my god, this is awesome. So we made it to the movie theater with my girl. And we got this, as you can see. Gracias. We're gonna get your drinks and that's it. Look at the view outside, guys. The sun. Video view of Medellin. And yeah, that's, that's me. So gorgeous, the view of the sun. So I just woke up and it's a beautiful day. I have roommates that are messed up. They party all day, all night, and they smoke a lot of cigarettes and especially marijuana. I don't, I don't like this lifestyle. Uh, I mean, it's none of my business. Hello, how are you? Uh, it's none of my business, but it's just, uh, crazy that some people can like live like this every day of their life without being productive and producing anything who am I to judge but I can't judge because I produce a lot more and it's unfair I'm kidding I mean it's unfair it is unfair though just think about it it is unfair that someone goes to work every day and uh, they are in Medellin just boring up money got myself this burrito Canadian dollars, six Canadian dollars, or about five and something. It's nice. Came to get my girl again to go get ice cream and play bowling. It's such a gloomy day. It's a holiday today, it's a Monday. And yeah, I'm bored and depressed a little bit in Medellin, but I guess it's gonna get better since I met my girl today. I made it to this sushi place called Sushi Light. Have sushi in Medellin and see how it is. You want to see how sushi looks in Medellin? It looks good. No, it's good. Gracias. That's how sushi look in Medellin. I got a refill of this because I finished the whole thing. So guys, today I didn't go to Monetary Mall. I came to this Starbucks over here. But I'm seeing something so gorgeous right now. As you can see the clouds and then suddenly there is a rainbow all the way from here to here, which is beautiful. So I am in the cab going uh, to pick up my girlfriend. Uh, it's a trip to Pereira from Medellin. As you can see the streets of Medellin, it's so laid back. Uh, but today is a little bit of traffic as you can see. Still on the taxi to, to get my girlfriend. You want to film Medellin? That building is so Medellin actually. I don't know why I uh, relate city to this kind of buildings um, that's been built in Medellin a long time ago. So we are in the bus for Perara, Perdata. Uh, that's how the bus looks in Medellin. The road is beautiful as you can see it's all green. Uh, but at the moment we are in traffic and the traffic is not moving. But yeah, uh, we're gonna get there about two hours more. This is our bus as you can see. We made a stop and the view is gorgeous. We are going to eat right now. Yeah. I'm so hungry. Today is the first day of Ramadan. I'm not fasting, but I should be. Uh, but I'm traveling, so I guess that's a good reason not uh, to, to fast but I'm eating this lasagna uh, on the way 
to Pereira. Uh, yeah, we got our food as you can see. She got this, and I got this combination, which is awesome. Guys, we are still in the bus. It's about 8 p.m. Um, it took four extra hours on top of what I thought it would be. So it's eight hours instead of four hours. Um, it's pretty annoying, um, but another lesson I learned, guys, uh, whatever happens, happens, you know? Right now, like I could sit down and bitch about uh, and complain, but uh, I took a bus for eight hours uh, so I could vlog and see the city. Um, I might as well enjoy as much as I can. So let's see uh, if it was worth it. Even if it wasn't worth it, it's something to remember. Sometimes uh, it doesn't add up and you have to justify it somehow. Uh, but anyway. So we popped ah, into a taxi. Entonces no está. Entonces no está. As you can see. Entonces no está. Uh, this is Pereira. As you can see, it doesn't, it doesn't feel any different than uh, Medellin. To be honest, it feels exactly the same city. It's not like other countries where you go from one city to another city. Uh, it varies. So we just checked into our place. It's pretty ghetto. What's up, what's up? That's me, ghetto, ghetto. I mean, Waterloo University. You know who's the ghettoest guy in Waterloo? Uh, in Waterloo, I think it was me. Uh, I don't even know how I afforded my tuition. Uh, OSAP, buddy, OSAP. But yeah, this is the room. And uh, this is the shower, and we're gonna go eat right now. God, this is such a small puppy. Such a small puppy. Say hello. Say hello. Say hello. Say hello. You're so cute. You're smiling. When you, when you do not plan your trip, guys, uh, things like this could happen. Uh, we are walking by the side of the street right now. As you can see, we are going to eat food. Uh, but yeah, uh, it wasn't the best experience so far. Hopefully tomorrow we'll go somewhere nice, somewhere nicer. Uh, and I'll vlog for you from there. So we woke up and today we are exploring Pereira which is gonna be awesome. I don't know, we might go to swimming pool a little bit, but this is our view. So it's final daytime in Pereira. We are in the streets in the cab right now. It definitely isn't as developed as uh, Medellin, but it has a good feeling to it for now. Let's go further and find out. So we are in downtown Pereira, as you can see. Different kind of environment. I'm going to the bank to get some cash right now to feel more comfortable uh, with the money. And uh, yeah, the bank, right? So a currency of a country is really depends on how much you could get out of the bank. So in this bank right now, it's called BBVA. I could uh, take out $150 Canadian at a time. So if you want 300 Canadian dollars, um, you have to do two different transactions, pay do two different fees, fees, fees. Yeah. And this is the view from where I am right now. And this is uh, Pereira. So we made it to a restaurant. Just got this to get started. This is our view, which is not so good, but what did I say about not complaining, guys? So, from the restaurant, I'll take you to the edge and show you downtown Pereira. I think this is downtown. Um, nice building over here. I think that's their tallest tower of the city. Birds are flying, the people are walking, the construction going on still. I like how the world still has a lot of room for growth, guys. It's gonna be beautiful. And um, in the end, every one of you are needed uh, for this beautiful journey that we have together. So my favorite sweet of Colombia is this thing. It's coffee that is uh, like gelatin. It's so good. But the mango is not so good, but 
What did they say about I'm not complaining? And this is the main course. I have no idea what these things are. But yeah. The feeling of these streets are awesome. I love walking in them. The church is right here. I'm gonna go make some prayers for me and you guys. I hope uh, you get everything you want in life because I think life is about getting your dreams accomplished. I wanted uh, a lot of money because I wanted to work on a lot of projects. Uh, but yeah, I'm into that. This is actually such a spiritual place. I bond with this place. What we build as human beings, guys, what you build, it stays in the history. Like whoever built this place uh, is a, such a great man because uh, the feeling that it uh, builds in me uh, stays with me. That's a good feeling, I'm not lying. This street feels like a very, uh, it looks like Los Angeles to me, <laughs> like I've been there, but it does look very sexy. I like the trees in the middle and how <coughs> people are trying to get their living. Uh, by some sort of a small business uh, But yeah, just looking at these people reminds me of how beautiful life is So after buying a new shoe actually I paid 60 Canadian dollars for it uh, It's cheaper than uh, Medellin um, We are going to our hotel and I'll show you how our hotel is And if you're wondering how to write the name of the city, oh gosh, this guy just blocked it but behind it says Pereira, that's where we are. And that is the mountain of Pereira, which should be very famous, but it's not. Oh gosh, this guy just blocked it. So yeah, that's it. So we are checking to our new hotel, which is much better than the old one. Uh, we are paying triple the price of the previous hotel for this one. So obviously it's more luxurious as you can see. So guys, I ended up paying uh, 30 Canadian dollars more because I didn't have my passport on me. But need your passport guys, it's worth it. You save money. Uh, but this is our view uh, for the day. $30, whatever. Uh, I'll make it somewhere else. Don't let little stuff bother you, you know? So we just checked into the hotel. That's me as you can see, the shower. Uh, I still am burnt about the 30 Canadian dollars that I had to pay extra. This is the room and this is our view. Uh, anyway, but yeah, it's nice and luxury for one day. So guys, as you can see, I called Hotels.com with a Skype. I'm arguing over $20 or $30, something in between. These little things, if you add them up in your life, get ripped off by the same kind of people over and over again. I swear to God, it will cost you your life. Um, you have to fight for every penny that you spend. Not that I'm a cheap man, $30 is not even worth my time, but I'm not gonna make a business richer um, for just being a foreigner in the country. Like they emailed me saying that everything is paid in full and uh, they, at the entrance, they saw I'm a foreigner. They were like, okay, let's charge him another $30. So keep that in mind, guys. Like, um, yeah, that's it. So guys, you see this smile. Um, I finally were able to uh, cancel this hotel room. So we're gonna go to our ghetto place, Namin. Uh, so ghetto, so ghetto. We came to the same place as last night. Look who is accompanying us to our room. This is not so bad. Look at this view. We have horses. And that dog has won my heart. That dog, you see? Look how small it is. He's following us everywhere, welcoming us. And look at our view from our room, which is this. And... Yeah, we're gonna go swimming right now. It's nothing compared to the previous one. But guys, honestly, uh, little things like this at an age like mine matter. If you stay at luxurious hotels and pay even extra on top of the luxury that you're already paying for, 
uh, soon you can't afford a lifestyle like that. I prefer to live like this right now, sacrifice, but when I get old, then $30, $20 doesn't matter because then I'm old, I don't have energy to move around. But while you can, why not save it? Like, especially if they're bullying you. Imagine if you're old, that's when you have to sacrifice the $20 and say, okay, you know what? Um, it's not important, but yeah. Going horse riding. As you can see, there are horses over there. And we are gonna do our ghetto activities. Nah, I mean, the sky is blue. Some trees are burning. The smell is like a village smell. And yeah, let's go be the cowboy today. Guys, this is up close of a horse. Apparently they are like such good creatures. They are very, very unique. The way they re their relationship is with humans. Uh, this is the second one. Uh, let's go close to him and see. Hi. Can you look for Toronto Vlogs? Why drive a Lamborghini when you can do this, you know? This is so much more fun, more affordable, and more of a human act. My bear is on top of a horse right now. We are settling, getting ready to go. This is something you gotta do in Pereira, guys. My horse, and yeah, it's awesomeness, actually. Guys, my horse is a little faster, as you can see. Uh, there is a plain, there is a field, there are cows over there. Uh, and yeah, Toronto Vlogs, what up? Going further, the view is beautiful. My horse is awesomeness. Yeah. So this is the end of our horse adventure. As you can see, um, it was about one hour. We did it less than one hour because I didn't want the horses to get tired of my fat ass. Nam it! I'm here to get some cash, as you can see, at a mall in Peradara, Perara. I'm spending more than what I expected. Um, I think uh, maybe my trip is costing more than $500. Uh, but yeah, let's see. My baby's looking gorgeous tonight. Vanita, Vanita. This is uh, where we came for lunch. Uh, I shouldn't tell this on the vlog. I'm not, I'm not saying this in a racist way at all. But a black dude came to me and uh, asked for money. Uh, apparently he lives in another city, you know, the trick. Uh, but I gave him money just because he was black. Um, but if he was white, I don't think I would have helped him. Does that make me a racist? I'm kidding, guys. I would have helped no matter what. But um, I don't know. Uh, I feel bad for even thinking about the color, you know? Um, it shouldn't even cross your mind when you are trying to do charity or give money to people. Uh, you shouldn't look at their color or race at all. Um, like right now, you're judging this as a brown man saying this. You shouldn't. So guys, speaking of spending so much money, but it's Medellin, you know, we are in a village. What can I say? And what we got here? I'm gonna taste it. Cheers, guys. It's life. We have the whole club to ourselves. Guys, we are leaving Pereira. As you can see, we are going to the terminal, and this is the view. We made it to the terminal, as you can see. I got myself this little coffee. Gotta try, gotta try. It's too hot right now. Uh, we got our tickets. It cost uh, forty-five thousand pesos, which is like so twenty-two Canadian dollars or something. Yeah, let's. Let's go. And of course, this is the meal. So, one big lesson from Pereira 
uh, enjoy the little things. I'm enjoying my little uh, bread. It's so enjoyable right now. Sitting here, such a good, uh, such a good uh, vibration. So peace out, guys. Uh, subscribe and like the video. Uh, thank you so much. So this was my trip to Perara. Perara. Uh, I'm back in Park Poblado. Uh, every time I pass through here, I have a message for you. This time, I just wanted to say the same thing that I said. Sometimes, uh, little things that you make, uh, you make a big deal out of it, doesn't really matter that much. Uh, so let 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 it go. Like time will heal everything. Uh, time is such a valuable thing um, because as you grow old. Everything, financial, health, uh, it heals a lot of things. Some things will stay with you though. Like, you better not uh, uh, forget the bad things that have happened to you. Uh, but just remember that time will heal everything. So let it go.